Hello! Today we're going to take a look at the ability of oranges to fight cancer. Oranges are a sweet and delicious citrus fruit with many nutritional benefits. This popular citrus fruit is particularly known for its vitamin C content. However, oranges contain a range of other plant compounds and antioxidants that may reduce inflammation and work against disease. Cancer is a terrible disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. In lab studies, it protects cells' DNA by trapping free radicals, and it helps renew the antioxidant ability of vitamin E. In cell studies, vitamin C also inhibits formation of carcinogens and supports the immune system. In a 2020 study published in the journal Experimental Biology and Medicine, experts found that hexperidin, a flavonone found in oranges, has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties against cancer. It can inhibit tumor cell metastasis and angiogenesis. Additionally, Hesperidin can also reverse drug resistance of cancer cells, which make it a promising candidate to be used in combination with existing anti-cancer drugs. Flavonones in oranges inhibit cancer cells' growth and ability to spread. It also activates signaling that leads to self-destruction of abnormal cells, in laboratory studies, flavonones dial down the expression of oncogenes, genes that have potential to cause increased cell growth that can lead to cancer, and flavonones increase expression of tumor suppression genes. In a large population study published in 2018 in the International Journal of Cancer, Researchers found an inverse association between citrus fruit intake and gastric cancer. The favorable effect has been related to bioactive compounds contained in citrus fruits, including vitamin C and flavonoids. In petri dish studies, hesperidin and naringenin Two of the major flavonone compounds contained in oranges and mandarins, it was shown to inhibit human gastric cancer cell proliferation, migration, and invasion. However, keep in mind that the petri dish effects are using higher concentrations of the flavonones than what we would get by eating oranges. However, it still makes sense to incorporate oranges into our diets over the long term since there is a preventive role against cancer. In a meta-analysis article published in 2021, researchers found that those with the highest citrus fruit intake compared to the lowest intake had a lower risk of developing lung cancer. In a 2013 article of pooled results from observational studies published in the Journal of Breast Cancer, researchers found an inverse association between citrus fruits intake and the risk of breast cancer. Viscous fiber is a type of soluble dietary fiber that forms a gel in the digestive tract, slowing action of digestive enzymes and thus slowing the rise in blood sugar after eating. By helping to reduce insulin resistance and elevated levels of insulin, this could potentially help reduce cancer risk. 
Viscous fibers actions in the gut may also contribute to reducing circulating estrogen levels. Such effects could help explain why some studies link greater soluble dietary fiber and lower breast cancer risk. In taking most of your fruit as solid whole fruit instead of just juice is recommended, but also headlines that tout orange juice as 100% sugar is also not entirely true. In another study in 2015, researchers outlined the antioxidative, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, as well as cardiovascular protective effects of citrus fruit. A 1994 article considered the promising effect of D-luminine in oranges on chemo prevention and chemotherapy. A 2018 article showed the ability of D-limonene to inhibit the growth of lung cancer cells and suppress the growth of transplanted tumors in mice. As with many scientific studies on natural whole foods, it is difficult to find many randomized controlled trials. These are very expensive to conduct, and finding funding for this kind of research can be difficult. Also, it can be difficult to control over a long period of time because people generally know whether or not they are eating a particular kind of food. Therefore, while studies performed in petri dishes or animals are not as convincing as randomized controlled trials, the evidence is still sufficient for us to incorporate more oranges into our diet since they are safe, healthy, and delicious. I hope you found the information in this video to be useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.